whether it's more psychic guidance, just psychic energy, or literally talking to your loved ones who passed on, or guides. So we do that um, <coughs> through the spiritual practice of prayer and meditation. Prayer is simply talking to spirit, talking to God. Um, and meditation is receiving, it's a download. They're then giving back in, um, information to you. So when we take time to pray and meditate, it shifts us out of that party in the head that I talk about, right? We all have that mind, those mind thoughts, the monkey mind, that gets in the way of the divine mind and connecting to it. And then when we pray and meditate, we're getting into our heart, okay? That's where our real guidance lies, and that raises your vibration, and that in turn opens the door to the other side. So prayer and meditation, number one. The second is trusting and listening. And again, I shared with you, I have a, I struggled with that big time in the beginning. I think a lot of people do. Um, but it's recognizing and trusting that it's not our own mind, but our intuition that's talking to us. Not all the time, but often. And um, when we start to pay attention to this inner world of ideas and feelings, well, that's how it works, because our feelings are our guidance. Our feelings don't lie. They tell us the truth. And so often the intuition operates through your feelings. So the key here is telling the difference between a mind thought and a divine thought. Right? A mind thought, to put it simply, is you think one thing, you, it leads you to think about something else, or things to, you jump to something else, and then you come up with this conclusion. It's a trail thought. Whereas a divine thought comes out of the blue. You don't know why in the world you just thought of a friend from college. And then five minutes later, you run into that friend when you're out of town, right? That was a divine thought.